Hey, this video I'm going to show everyone how I prepare, flame, and then laser engrave a zirconium coin. Um, always wear gloves. You don't want oils or anything getting on the coin surface. Um, there's going to be some polishing compound in the grooves. Just find something soft or, yeah, a toothpick will work. I use one of these um, flossing toothpicks. And clear out the gunk. And then you're going to want to spray it. I have 99% alcohol in here. Spray it good and this dries really, really fast. I also take my fingernail, I pinch the coin and with my fingernail I get in the groove I don't know if you can see it. And turn it to clear out um, any black stuff I missed. All right, I clean that one pretty good. Okay, so this thing is cleaned um, for flaming. I put it up on a little stand. This thing I built myself. Just was used out of random parts I had laying around the house. Um, you want minimum contact with it and you want to try to, if you can, be able to f point the torch underneath. Now. I'm going to move this away and try not to burn up my camera. So the best type of gas is the MAP gas. Uh, it gets hotter than propane. And in order to get zirconium nice and black, you want to heat it up as fast as possible. So MAP gas will do that. So go side to side. I do want to say it's impossible to overheat this stuff. Some materials you can overheat and burn, like titanium. Zirconium, uh, you cannot. And you, go, you can start seeing it soon. And I'll go through the color cycle a second time. You want to get it so it's a little bit of a glow. You see that kind of glowing? Every part of the coin has to have some kind of a red glow on it, and that's how you know that section is done. It's impossible to see underneath, but uh, you can assume that the underneath side looks similar to the top. Okay, that is it. So now we gotta wait a couple minutes uh, for it to cool, but you can see the nice black finish on it now. All right, so now that the uh, zirconium coin is cooled, um, you don't have to worry about any oils getting on anymore. Um, they will, you can see that, but it wipes right off. Uh, interesting fact about this stuff is it's actually a very soft metal. Uh, you can hand engrave it, uh, almost as soft as copper, but once you flame it, this oxide uh, layer is extremely scratch resistant and hard. Uh, it's almost as hard as a diamond surface, so um, pretty neat. You can see I missed cleaning in the grooves there, some of the, the polishing compound, but that's not a big deal. Uh, you can wipe that out with your hand and it'll still be black underneath. All right, so let's get to some laser settings. Zirconium uh, engraves similar to titanium, so if you hit it with high power, low f frequency, it uh, it just turns into a big mess. 
Um, the other thing to think about is because it's already black, um, you want to kind of reverse your mind in, in the way you lay out your image. Um, so an engraved surface will turn whitish gray and a surface that you do not engrave will stay black. So it's kind of like inverting it uh, from what you're used to. Okay, so I have my image here and I have an outer circle laid out. I'm going to group it, group both of them together and hatch it. So here's my settings. Hatch one, um, point two spacing, I'm auto rotating 18 degrees, starting at angle 30. Hatch two starts at 120, so it's like a 90 degrees um, to the first hatch. Same spacing, same pen, same auto rotate and same hatch pattern. Um, number three, I'm starting at angle 20, same hatch pattern, using pen number one and a uh, 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 wider line spacing. I'm still auto-rotating. Okay, so there is my image. What is blue will actually be gray, and what is white will be black. So let's look at the pens. Um, All right, so pen number one. Uh, I have a 50 watt, by the way, with a 110 lens. Um, so the pattern is kind of uh, detailed. So I want to do extremely low power to start. Um, higher power will cause the edges to, to burr up and, and kind of look burnt. So I'm going to start with, uh, let's try 25% at 55 okay and then pen number two which is my cleanup which I'm using for hatch number three is faster speed 25 power 25 frequency or 55 frequency all right let's get this set up So it's hard to see it, but I'm pretty sure it's in the right position. Alright, I'm going to do one cycle here and see how that low power 25%, see what that does to it to remove the black. Okay, here's the end effect or the finished product of um, my coin. It's pretty angle proof. I mean, it looks just as good because I wasn't 
lasering the black mark, I was lasering the gray mark. So it looks good from all angles and the black is still nice and shiny just because it started shiny. Um, if you overflow your design into the, the V groove, you can see how it cascades over the edge and gives like a nice 3D effect. So, anyway guys, hope this was helpful and hopefully you learned something.